Today I'm out at Lost Maples State Natural Area in the Texas Hill Country. And uh, this is one of those places this time of year, it's hard to get in here. So I'm here on a Wednesday. And man, it rained on me the whole 300 miles to get down here. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day, all tonight, all day tomorrow. So what do you do? You get lemons, you just squeeze the crap out of them, right? <laughs> anyway, man, uh, this place got its name Lost Maples from an ancient stand of big tooth maples that they say goes all the way back to the Ice Age. And this is one of the few places in the United States that uh, has these big tooth maples. So anyway, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Been wanting to get down here for a long time, but like I said, this time of year, man, it's not that big of a place and it's hard to get a reservation. So I snuck one in and I'm not really supposed to be out here yet. I ain't released to be lifting anything after my surgery, but I've got a uh, 12 pound base weight and uh, I've still got enough to be really comfortable out here in the rain. So anyway, man, I'm fixing to get out here and get it. I'm gonna like this. That's pretty cool. This is primitive campsite C out here at uh, Boss Maples. And as soon as you get on the trail, man, you're almost here. I think it's only like a mile. It's way too soon into the hike to stop and think about camping now, but I am going to pull out my filter and filter up a little bit of water for tonight. Let's give you a workout. It's good though. It starts getting real pretty real quick. I made it to the top of this one hill. And that's the pond I was showing you down there earlier. Where there's a nice campsite, but it's too soon. So I came on up the hill. Down there was about 1,400 foot in elevation. Where I'm at now is, is uh, showing 2,145 feet. And uh, man, it's nice views up here. Looks pretty nice up here, a lot of trees. I'm going to look around a little bit, see if I can find a good place to set my tent up, maybe got a little view. Well, I got my camp set up such as it is, and believe it or not, up here on top of this hill, I've actually got some views. <laughs> but with the rain and uh, the haze that it's caused, you just really can't tell. There's old Imogene. And I got views out here straight east. I kind of wanted to point my tent towards east. Hopefully I could catch... Uh, morning sun and sunrise, but they're just not anything flat enough. I've got a air mattress, my go light down bag. Back there in the back, you can see my old Gregory Z30, and that's a 30 liter pack. I squeezed everything in. And I got two liters of water I pumped up down there at the pond. Lots of food. Got my little cook kit. I kind of juiced my little alcohol stove up pretty good this evening. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the, the dimensions I build these things to, if you fill that thing completely full, uh, that thing will burn for 15 to 20 minutes. And all the rain I've dealt with today and getting everything set up, my hands were a little cold, so. I filled that baby up. I'm going to warm my hands up, fingers up just a little bit before I start cooking supper. Tonight, we're just doing mountain house. When I do extended day trips, I usually just make my own meals, but this is just kind of last minute thing. So, man, we're having some good old chili mac with beef. And uh, if you get tired of drinking just plain old water during the day, you get these little drink mixes. They're like 
10 calories for 16 ounces. Uh, this one's iced tea with peach. These things are really good. I'm going to pour that in my smart water bottle. Two of them in there. And that's enough for 32 ounces. Good thing about this place is you don't have to worry about bears or anything like that in this part of Texas. So I can do all my cooking right here by my tent. You don't have to worry about it. And then tonight when I finish up and I get ready to turn in, everything goes in the tent just to keep the coons away from it. All right, I think that's about warm enough. Let's cook us a mountain house. Well, my little stove has been going for 15 minutes now. And I'll say within the next two to three minutes or so, it's going to burn out. But that's not too bad for a little hand warmer. And it's getting a little chilly. The light's getting kind of low, so I think i got just about enough time to eat a little chili mac. Drink a little bit of my peach tea. And it'll be time to get back inside. Oh, yeah. Woo. Michelle will be glad she's not in the tent tonight. Still kind of drizzling outside. Ain't much you going to do out there in the rain and in the dark. So it's about time to get in here and kind of warm my old fingers and my feet up a little bit. It feels good. Well, it's just something about having your old favorite tent and your sleeping bag and everything, isn't it? Makes you feel good. I'm going to read a little uh, ebook I got on my phone. Relax a little bit, and we'll see y'all in the morning. It ought to be daylight here in about another 30 minutes or so, and I'm ready to go find some big tooth maples. Well, I'm fixing to have some good old Mountain House biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Man, I don't know how Mountain House does it. That stuff is good. You set a bag of that on top of your head, and your tongue will beat your brains out trying to get to it. <laughs> All right, dishes are done. It's time to load up. There's a view from down here. I hope you see it somehow. Now, looking at the map earlier, it showed a overlook one-third of a mile off the trail so you got to go look right <laughs> Well, even though that added uh, two-thirds of a mile to the hike man that's okay for views like this and you can certainly see why they call this the Texas Hill Country well, you can see that there's no switchbacks it's just pretty much straight up and straight down. So. Texas has got like 95 state parks and natural areas uh, like this one. And as many of the state parks and stuff that Michelle and I have been to, you still find places like this and leaves you wondering, man, why didn't I find this sooner? Well, I'm starting to get into the big tooth maples now. They're all just starting to change a little bit. Man, a couple weeks, it'll be just beautiful down here. Carrying a lot of water because it's everywhere. There's a little trail sign with an arrow pointing back here to uh, Monkey Rock. <laughs> so you know we got to go check that out. <laughs> I 
There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Well, there's my little quick trip down here to the Lost Maples State Natural Area. My first time down here, and I will be back with Michelle, I can promise you that. I'm still not up to a wide open get out and get it, but I still did about five miles or so up here, and that's not too bad with all the elevation changes. I had a good time. It's a great place. If you get way down here in Texas in the hill country, and you get close to Lost Maples State National Area, man, it's worth stopping and checking out. It's a beautiful place.